Hi, and welcome to our video of Regensburg in Bavaria, Germany. Set on the River Danube, hence the music, The Blue Danube by Johann Strauss II. And don't forget to hit subscribe if you like what you see. Regensburg's in the southeast of Germany, between Nuremberg and Munich. We had left Augsburg via Dachau before heading to Regensburg. If you're an Audi fan, you may want to pop into Ingolstadt, home of the brand and its museum. But we're interested in Regensburg, so let's hit the old town. As always, we start with the Rat House, or Town Hall, and here we're in Rat House Platz. Sections of the old town hall date from the 12th century, although Rat House Platz is actually quite small. Not so Hyde Platz, which is a short walk from the town hall, with the Justice Fountain, or Justina Brunnen, in the centre of the square. The historic medieval centre of Regensburg is UNESCO World Heritage recognised since 2006. Now let's get a little wiggle on. As well as bustling squares or plats, there's plenty of quiet little lanes to go and discover. So we were here for over a day and a half as part of our Lakes and Lederhosen tour. For more of that, check out the link in the top corner. Regensburg is one of Germany's top tourist destinations. One or two larger crowds, possibly from the river cruises down the Danube. But hey, there's plenty to share. One of the signs the Romans left behind was Porta Pretoria, which would have been the gatehouse to their main military camp in the city. As well as Romaturn, or Roman Tower, just by the edge of the corn market. And then there's Bismarck's Platz, with Cafe Anton at one end and the Regensburg Theatre at the other. Then there's the 13th century Goliath House, with its 16th century painting depicting David and Goliath. And now we're at the South Tower on the Old Stone Bridge. Originally one of three, this is the last one still standing. You'll also notice the white cross keys on a red background. This is Regensburg's coat of arms. And now we have possibly one of my favorite tourist attractions, the historic sausage kitchen. They've been serving food since the 17th century and sausages since 1806. And as the tactile town map shows you, this city is built on the river. Actually, it's built on three rivers. As I said at the beginning, the Danube, but also the Narb and the Regan. It's popular with the river cruises, and why not? I can't think of a better way of seeing the landscape. The best way of crossing the Danube is on the 12th century Old Stone Bridge. The 16 arches of the bridge take you across to Stad Tanhof, which sits on an island in the Danube. Despite only being a stone's throw from the city, it was only incorporated into the Greater Regensburg in 1924. Now I may have stopped for lunch, so let's get a wiggle on and take a quick look at Stad Tanhof. I said it was going to be quick, but time waits for no man, so let's cross the bridge back. There's other ways to cross the Danube, such as the old iron footbridge. It gives you great views back towards the old stone bridge. The stroll back along the river bank gives you some excellent views of the old town. Mm -hmm. 
you'll then come across the road bridge which will take you back towards the town and again give you some rather nice views. And now it's time to look at a couple of the city's churches. Now I've probably already offended enough Germans with my mispronunciation so I'm not going to try this one. Other than to say it translates as New Parish Church. And here we have the city's Dom or St Peter's Cathedral. It's a truly impressive place of worship. It's also home to the world's largest hanging organ, and I love a nice organ. Now come on, you're better than that. Now I'm going to end with St Emmeran's Abbey. Regardless of faith, this is one place you shouldn't miss. In terms of opulent interiors in a church, I've seen few that are better. I think the Rococo styling is amazing, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Well, that brings this video to a close. Why not check out the previous video on Augsburg? And if you like what you've seen, then why not subscribe too? Thanks so much for watching.